What's up YouTube, Christo here, and I've got another review for you. This is going to be again in my new, more minimalist kind of uh, structure. The scent I'm going to be looking at today is a pretty special one. This recently ranked as my number one men's designer of all time in my top ten list I did. It was about six, eight months ago maybe. And uh, I can definitely say it is still firmly in my number one spot and probably will be for a long time, especially at the rate that new men's designers are going. They just totally lack any creativity or originality. And this to me is a really good example of what I think is a really good era in perfumery. So let's have a look at Roca Bar from Hermes. This fragrance was created in 1998. I could not find a definite perfumer on this, so I'm going to leave it as anonymous because there were too many conflicting sources, which is the same story with the notes. I could find notes, but they were very, very different uh, where I could find them on databases and on websites that had Roca Bar for sale. The notes that I get most predominantly are benzoin, I get coniferous needles, uh, like pine needles and fir needles, I get woods and spices. There is also a little tiny bit of floral and a little tiny bit of vanilla in here. Definitely though, the benzoin is the strongest note by far. It's a very, very good example of benzoin in a masculine fragrance in my opinion. This scent here, I would say, gives very good longevity. I get at least eight hours out of it. It is quite sweet and it is fairly heavy, and that's kind of what I would expect in terms of longevity for something like that, so I'm not disappointed at all. In terms of projection, it's pretty good. It's not too strong, but I can still smell it on myself. I do have to say though, probably towards like the six hour mark, seven hour mark, it is pretty minimal. Um, you're not going to get a lot of people noticing it on you after that um, amount of time, but kind of like the first two or three hours, it's, it's pretty good. It's not too much, again, which is very nice because you don't have to get kind of self-conscious about people thinking that your perfume's too strong. In terms of pricing, you can get 50 ml bottles for about 50 to 60 dollars and 100 ml bottles like mine here for about 80 to 100 dollars. Obviously it depends where you live and where you shop. Um, Hermes have made a pretty good effort at keeping their fragrances, um, both the designer and the niche lines, out of discounters. Um, you can find them, but they're rarely discounted very heavily, uh, maybe just a couple percent off or whatnot. So you're probably going to have to pay full price for this. It is definitely as well one of the less accessible Hermeses for men. Uh, if you go to a boutique or a counter, you're probably going to be able to find things like uh, Terre de Hermes and the Un Jardin line quite easily, whereas Roca Bar, uh, there's a good chance you might not be able to sample it at your counter. It is available out there. It is kind of rare. Um, it's definitely still in production, but uh, you will have to do a bit of research to find it. The name Roca Bar actually comes from the words striped rug in French and is meant to inspire the image of horse stables or a horse's riding blanket. And I think that is really great because when I smell this fragrance, what it actually reminds me of is kind of sweet hay, um, hay that you would have in horse stables. Things that I think of when I think of this fragrance, I actually get images of Chergui, which is interesting because Chergui kind of like went viral about two years ago. Everybody went crazy for Chergui and then it kind of died down a bit and you still hear mentions of it now and again but um, as soon as I tried Roca Bar I was like wow this, this has got a very strong hay note in it and after I tried Chergui I was like wow this reminds me of Roca Bar. 
The thing is with Chargui, in my opinion, is it's just a bit too sweet, it's a bit too spicy. It actually reminds me of like a potpourri oil that you would simmer in uh, the holidays, like over Christmas time or something. Whereas Rokabar, I personally find to be more wearable and whatnot. Um, it doesn't get as powdery either. I find Chargui to be awfully powdery. Even though I think it is a good scent, I do heavily, heavily prefer Rokabar. In terms of gender, this is targeted for men, but I could definitely see a female pulling this off with the sweetness from it. Uh, the Benzoin, I find to be a very unisex note, um, and given the sweetness, you know, it will appeal to women uh, as well as gentlemen. Age group for this, I do think it is a bit more mature. It's kind of like a sweet fragrance for mature men or more mature men. So I'm going to say like kind of late 20s. And I could even see a guy like into his 40s or 50s uh, pulling off Roca Bar. Of course, you know, that's just my opinion. I'm sure there's lots of gentlemen, older and younger than that, that will enjoy this fragrance. But mostly I think that's who it will appeal to. I think that's it. Um, one of my, well, no, my favorite designer fragrance of all time for men. Um, I hope you like it. Let me know your thoughts on the fragrance, and um, hopefully I'll uh, have a few more reviews out in the near future.